In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install all the mods 10 to the sky for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. To begin, make sure you have the CurseForge app. As this is a CurseForge mod pack, it will in most cases only work for the CurseForge app. So if you don't have the app, you will have to go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar, search up Curse Forge like this, enter that in, scroll down if you have a sponsored result, and find curseforge.com. Here, go ahead and click on the link, it will bring you to the CurseForge homepage, and from there just go to Get CurseForge app, click on the button, and then you'll find that we have two options here. As we're only using like Minecraft, make sure to just get download standalone here to get an EXE of only the CurseForge app to make your process a bit easier. So in this case, get this here and then you'll be able to go ahead and get the app. I will have a tutorial in the description to do the full process. But yeah, once you have the app, you can go ahead and close your web browser and open up the app. So, this is the CurseForge app, and once you first have it here, what you want to do is go to Minecraft of course, so click on Minecraft, here, keep it to standard, and click continue. Okay, once you have this page here, go to search for Minecraft projects, and type in ATM 10 Sky, like this. So, now enter, here you'll find all the mods 10 to the sky and make sure it is by ATM team and if it is simply click install and now this is going to take a little while but it will just download everything and then you'll be able to go ahead and play now there will be a minecraft launcher which shows up so I will go through this process but for now you will have to wait for everything to download Okay, so once it's finished, you can go to my mod packs for example, then hover over ATM 10 to the sky, and click play. And this will actually just download a new Minecraft launcher like this, and this also means that you have to log into it. Now, you can of course log into like the CurseForge app as like a Minecraft user, and then just open it directly skipping this. Or you can go with this, this is the default step, but like you can change it if you really wanted to. But in this case we'll be going through this. So, here we have the Minecraft launcher here, and what you have to do is click sign in with Microsoft here. So click this, and then you will be able to actually go ahead and sign in with your Minecraft Java account. So yeah, I will do this, and then we'll be able to go ahead and continue. Okay. So I just logged in here, and if you have Minecraft Java on this account, you will be able to go to Minecraft Java and see that you can play Minecraft. But there is quite a few things to do just before playing Minecraft, so let me show you them. To begin, you will have to go to installations here. Then you will see that we have all the mods 10 here. Make sure to go to the three dots, then edit. And here, simply go to more options, and then you'll find that we have a JVM argument, this one is custom for this. Well, make sure to like, not use this one, because what happens is that, yes, it gives you 8GB here, but it also crashes your game, because this uses something else that you might not have, like, you might just have a Java version that you gotten by yourself. Well, this thing will crash. So simply just click reset here, and just change this 2G here to like, well it came with 8G, but if you count you can do 6 if you really want to push it, or 10 if you want to be like a bit safer. So you can choose whatever, but make sure to change this here, and this will be the same thing that you had before, but your game will not crash. So once you modify this, click save, click play. Here you will find this, make sure this is selected, and click play again. Click I understand risks, and click play. And now you have to wait for everything to download, 
This takes a little while as well, but your game should open up, especially if you did the reset thing. This shouldn't cause any issues as it's just using the default Minecraft arguments. So yeah, let's just wait for this to open up. Okay, so what you want to do is simply go ahead and do proceed or stop showing for this. So I'll just do proceed and there you go. So also just for the simple reason here, I will just turn off the volume, but there you go. So now we have ATM 10 to the sky and you can do multiple things here, mainly play multiplayer if you have a server in mind and you actually want to go ahead and like join a server with this mod make sure the mod of course is on the server and you can of course play single player if you want this will just like basically force you to just create a new world and this is meant to be played in survival of course so that is one thing so we'll just go ahead and wait for the world creation screen to show up because 300 mods is a lot, so yeah, expect some delays. So yeah, I'll just keep it to default and I'll just do create new world. And then we'll be able to see that there will be a difference because, well, as the name kind of implies, it's meant to be, well, to the sky. So something more like sky block. So yeah, let's just go ahead and see what we have for this version. And there you go. So we are now in all the mods 10 to the sky. And basically here, it tells us to like use slash skyblock. Well, the command for this is just slash skyblock. We have create, and I'll do, uh, I'll just do like whatever uh, video, why not? This is just creating a new island for us. And if we do this, it's gonna teleport us to a new island like this. And yeah, we can now go ahead and play all the mods 10 to the sky in Minecraft. So it kind of acts like a small Minecraft server, which is pretty cute. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download and install all the mods 10 to the sky for Minecraft Java. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.